Romano Truly, the 34-year-old Italian who, upon winning the Monaco Grand Prix, parted so hard he lost his voice for weeks. Now that's my kind of racing driver. But today is not about going fast, it's about being slow. We'll both drive the hybrid Prius on the same town and country route and see who can record the best MPG. He's got no chance. Look, it's a right-hand drive. Right-hand right 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 drive in England. Uh, I have to get used to it now. Let's go. I didn't want to lose, so tried every trick in the book to sabotage Jano's run and put some fuel-sapping strain on the engine. Maybe I should put the rear demister on a bit more power. You, can you see out the back all right? <laughs> it's very hot, though. You think we should have the air conditioning hot, on? Yeah. You're braking a bit heavy than I thought, you know. Quick, quick, go, bounce them. You can do it. This has cost me a lot of fuel well, now. Well, I, okay, you didn't have to do what I said. Okay, <laughs> I just want to say this in the regulations. Now, you can't really ask an F1 driver to go slowly and not expect him to get bored, especially when Jano realised he'd have to sit through my turn as well. We have to do all of this again. Me too? Yeah, you have to sit here. <laughs> now I am bored. <laughs> Luckily, some builders offered a bit of light relief. Right, boys. How are you doing? Builder. The builders. Uh. They're my fans, you see. You know, that's my sort of fans, you see. You have these glamorous models, you know, <laughs> beautiful ladies chasing you around the world. Why have all these glamorous women that just cause trouble? <laughs> it's true. Women cause trouble. <laughs> For the last miles, maybe I will jump out and push the car. <laughs> After about an hour, we finally reached the end of the route. I'd just like to say, Mr. Truly, that you've passed your driving test. And in fact, you've averaged a fantastic 60.1 miles to the gallon. Thank you very much. Well, I think I can do it. Yeah, okay, let's try it. Now, Jana, before I drive, you see, you missed one trick. You didn't check your tyre pressures. No, I can't have believe fuel economy. You've got, you, know, you can get in the car if you want, but I'm just going to make sure these are all the okay, right pressure. Try it. Yeah, 2.5 bar. I think that's correct for a front wheel of a Prius. You know, everything's like that, you know. Compared to me, you have also turned down the <laughs> air conditioning. You've noticed so it's got hot. <laughs> It's going to get very hot now. If you want to get open the window. Oh no, because the aerodynamics, you're not allowed to open the windows. Now, I've done my homework about the American MPG obsessives called Hyper Milers and was going to use their special driving style to get maximum economy. See, what you need to do is pulse and glide, they call it, Yana, where you just slowly accelerate up to about 40 and then lift off and glide as the speed drops and you have to slowly accelerate. It's not very exciting. This method means the engine is only used for half the time, and 90 miles per gallon on flat roads isn't uncommon. But now there's one trick I noticed you missed out on. Because when you have batteries with this Prius, you can press this little button here. Oh. And, and what it turns it? into electric vehicle only. I, I didn't know that. Ah, well, you see, you must check your car out. Now, as long oh. as I don't go over 28 miles an hour, it stays just as an electric vehicle. Mind you, it didn't take too much electric pulse and gliding before I too was fed up of economy driving. I got to the end of the route and it was time for the moment of truth. Had I beaten Yano's 60.1 miles per gallon? Come on, Yano, tell me. <laughs> we are 61.9. Oh. <laughs> you see, the electric vehicle button probably one.